In football, you don't win games without a game plan. The same holds true in the car business. An overall plan is required if a manufacturer expects to sell more of his cars than the competition. In the case of Mustang, Ford's game plan was to build a car that would appeal to a wide range of buyers in the small specialty segment of the market. This is how that game plan was executed. This is the 1979 Mustang two-door, a model that will definitely be considered by people who want a sporty, fun to drive, and yet economical automobile. But these same buyers may also be considering other cars. Cars like the Chevrolet Monza Coupe, the least expensive Monza model, and one of the cars that Chevrolet will be trying to position against Mustang in 1979. Now, taking into account the fact that Monza is essentially just a restyled Vega on the old Vega chassis, a strong argument could be made for comparing it with Pinto instead of Mustang. But given Chevrolet's 79 game plan, let's go ahead with the Mustang comparison. First, let's consider styling, the number one purchase consideration of small specialty car buyers. The 79 Mustang is all new and features crisp aerodynamic lines and distinctive exterior styling details. We think that a side-by-side -side comparison like this reveals Mustang to be a more modern, more exciting automobile. Truly a car for the 80s. Additionally, Mustang was designed to provide its owners with opportunities to enhance the styling of the car, to fine tune it, if you will, to match their own tastes and needs. In 79, buyers may choose from a wide variety of moldings, pinstripes, roof treatments, and the largest selection of wheels and wheel covers in Mustang history. Mustang's exterior styling flexibility is not shared by the Monza Coupe. A buyer of this car may select from only a vinyl roof, one available bright molding, one stripe treatment, and just two optional wheel styles. More important, however, is the fact that Mustang was designed to be a driver's car in every sense. For that reason, Full, easy-to-read instrumentation is standard. It includes a tachometer, trip odometer, plus temperature, amp meter, and oil pressure gauges. Not one of these important instruments is standard on the Monza Coupe. Also standard on the 1979 Mustang are convenient steering column multifunction levers with controls for turn signals, horn, headlamp dimmer, windshield wipers, and washers. Monza's controls are in conventional locations and less convenient than Mustang's. An important comfort consideration, especially for small specialty car buyers, is interior roominess. This year, Mustang provides a more spacious passenger compartment than last year, with some important advantages over Chevy Monza. In front and in back, Mustang offers about four inches more shoulder room and over five inches more hip room. There's also more legroom here in the rear passenger compartment of the Mustang. Considerations such as styling flexibility, convenience, and interior dimensions are important, but the true spirit of Mustang can be best understood by experiencing its fun-to-drive ride and handling characteristics. In addition to its standard 2.3-liter engine, Mustang features standard rack and pinion steering, not available on Monza. Up front, an innovative strut-type system for good ride control and stability. Mustang also provides a standard front stabilizer bar, optional on Monza Coupe. In back, Mustang has a four-bar link rear suspension system. Monza's rear suspension is a torque arm system. So for the buyer looking for fun-to-drive ride and handling characteristics, sporty styling, convenience, roominess, as well as overall economy of operation, the base Mustang offers some very real advantages over the Chevy Monza Coupe. But the 1979 Ford Mustang offers more than basic transportation. A lot more. To prove the point, let's compare it to a more expensive imported automobile. The Toyota Celica GT Liftback is a good example of just such a car. The Celica is a good-looking, well-equipped, well-engineered small car. Can a 1979 Mustang three-door model compete effectively against the Celica GT? The answer is yes. Let me show you some of the reasons why. Essentially, both cars share comparable front and rear suspension systems, with the exception that Celica GT Liftback provides a rear stabilizer bar, 
However, while the Celica GT offers no optional suspension systems, the Mustang buyer can move beyond the standard suspension by specifying either the optional handling suspension, which includes special front and rear spring and bushing rates, and revised shock absorber valving, in addition to a rear stabilizer bar, or even a special suspension offered in combination with low-profile Michelin TRX tires and forged metric aluminum wheels. There are also some important differences in engine availability and EPA fuel economy estimates between Mustang and the Celica GT. When both cars are equipped with their standard manual transmissions, Mustang has an EPA highway mileage estimate of 27 miles per gallon, Celica 26, a difference of one mile per gallon. However, when optional automatic transmissions are added, as they frequently are, the difference in estimated highway mileage becomes even more pronounced. Mustang 26 miles per gallon, Celica GT, 22. Even a Mustang equipped with the optional 2.8 liter V6 engine and automatic transmission gets the same highway rating as a Celica GT with its 2.2 liter four-cylinder engine. In addition, the Mustang buyer has the opportunity to select from three optional engines, the 2.8 liter V6, a 5 liter V8, even a 2.3 liter turbocharged engine. The Celica GT liftback buyer has no engine options from which to choose. From the standpoint of convenience, both of these cars are hatchbacks, offering a lift-up third door and fold-down rear seats. But there's one important difference. The 79 Mustang three-door is rated to have a full seven cubic feet more cargo space than the Celica GT liftback. However, Mustang's greatest strength may very well be its flexibility. It can be specifically equipped to meet the driving needs, desires, and budgets of almost any buyer. That's not really the case with the Celica GT. Before any equipment adjustment, the base Mustang three-door enjoys a price advantage of $2,123. A driver wishing to match Celica GT Liftback's long list of standard features could add the following available Mustang options. The cars are now comparably equipped. And the price tags? Toyota Celica Liftback, $6,649. Mustang, $5,493, a Mustang Advantage of $1,156. That means that the Mustang buyer could add air conditioning and the premium sound system and still be many dollars ahead. The considerable price advantage is important, but it's also important to understand that the Celica GT liftback customer is locked into buying all of this equipment. He has no choice. It can be said then that the all new Mustang has what it takes to face off against the competition both foreign and domestic, in terms of value and choice, and win. Another important part of the 79 Mustang game plan was to offer a car that would appeal directly to buyers looking for an extra measure of luxury, in addition to sportiness. The 1979 Ford Mustang Ghia, a very special breed intended for those who want the ultimate in Mustang luxury and prestige. This year, many buyers will be considering the Mustang Ghia, along with other automobiles that offer a higher level of styling, comfort and convenience, and luxury. One such car is Chevrolet's new top-of-the-line Camaro, the Berlinetta. Let's compare it to the Mustang Ghia in terms of styling, standard features, roominess, and option availability. The 1979 Ghia is entirely new and features the striking aerodynamic styling that distinguishes all Mustangs. Although the Berlinetta sports a new bright grill and some other minor refinements, it shares the same basic Camaro styling that's been around now for over eight years. Both cars are similar in interior dimensions, but Mustang Ghia has a real advantage in terms of trunk space and flexibility. As you can see in this comparison, the Mustang Ghia is rated to have three and a half cubic feet more luggage space than the Camaro model. The Camaro spare tire intrudes into the luggage area, while the Mustang spare is hidden out of sight and out of the way under the load floor. And that means a less cluttered trunk and the ability to carry a wider variety of luggage. Let's look at another important consideration. The 1979 Mustang Ghia is available in a choice of two body styles, the two-door and a three-door. The Berlinetta, like all Camaro models, is available only as a two-door sedan. With the rear seat folded down, 
This GIA three-door model can provide over 32 cubic feet of cargo space. That's fully 26 cubic feet more load space than is available anywhere in the Camaro lineup. The Mustang GIA buyer may also choose from a wider selection of engines that take into account a broader range of driving needs and economy considerations. The fuel-efficient 2.3-liter 4 is standard on GIA, while a 4.1-liter 6 is standard on Berlinetta. Optional Mustang engines include the 2.8-liter V6, the 5-liter V8, and the 2.3 turbo power plant. A turbocharged engine is not available on any Camaro model. The only optional engines available on Camaro are two large V8s. The Berlinetta features a suspension system that's specially tuned to the car's radial tires. The same type of suspension tuning is standard on the Mustang Ghia with its standard steel belted radials. The Camaro Berlinetta buyer has a choice of one optional suspension system. The Mustang Ghia buyer, two. Mustang Ghia also comes equipped with standard rack and pinion steering, and Mustang's turning diameter is over a foot tighter than Camaro's. Next, consider interior luxury and convenience. Mustang Ghia features standard low back bucket seats with adjustable European type headrests. The Camaro Berlinetta offers only high back bucket seats with no headrests. Like all Mustangs, Ghia provides standard multifunction steering column controls, a convenience not available on Berlinetta. And the Ghia instrument panel features handsome wood applique not found on Camaro Berlinetta. Another significant advantage Mustang Ghia holds over Camaro Berlinetta lies in the area of option availability. Particularly options designed to satisfy the small specialty car buyer interested in high levels of luxury and convenience. Options that are available on Mustang Ghia and not on Camaro Berlinetta include leather and vinyl seat trim, the premium sound system, a power trunk or lift gate release, a console with an electronic digital clock and a graphic warning module, and fingertip speed control with either the standard four-speed or the optional automatic transmission. On the Camaro Berlinetta, as on most other automobiles, speed control is available only with an automatic transmission. Finally, price. Mustang Ghia starts out with a base price advantage of $754. When comparably equipped with options such as power steering, the AM radio with a digital clock, and white sidewall tires, Mustang Ghia has an advantage of $542. Once again, enough to allow the Mustang buyer to better satisfy his optional equipment needs and still beat the Berlinetta price. It seems clear then that a buyer looking for luxury as well as a great deal of flexibility regarding body styles, engines, suspension systems, standard convenience features, and available options would do well to seriously consider the 1979 Mustang Ghia. The Mustang game plan wouldn't be complete unless the car could appeal to those buyers interested in performance and good ride and handling characteristics. It began with a now legendary Shelby Cobra, a true sports car featuring a Ford powertrain. Now, in 1979, the Cobra Mystique has been recaptured in a very special new Mustang offering the excitement necessary to gain entry into perhaps the most selective segment of the marketplace. This year, the Mustang Cobra takes its rightful place alongside the performers. Hi, 